again, they put me in and the, the police are going, how come we can't nail this sucker? Well, I got sick and tired of being in court. So I decided to play line of least resistance. I entered the new contract, the license, reserving my rights. You put in by, BY means by accommodation. You're doing something for another party. So the signature is showing that you're someone different to the name on the application. And then under the name, you put all rights reserved. So you're entering now the contract, protecting your rights and waiving their benefits and privileges. So now they have no jurisdiction to issue a fine when you travel wherever you need to travel. And that doesn't mean I still don't get one or two. I do, but I send it back with a cover notice saying, happy to pay, but could you provide me your evidence first that you have jurisdiction or authority in this particular matter over the license holder? And I put a photocopy, expanded one, of my license where it says all rights reserved and the thing goes away. Oh, shucks. You know, it's very peaceful out here in the private. You don't have all these hot obstacles to jump over. So when you put that information, did you do that on the application process and then they put it on the actual like yes. driver's license itself? They put that on there for you? Yes. The, which would be equivalent to like the Department of Motor Vehicles or something to that effect? That's correct. However, they put they, all rights reserved and all that for you on there. They did it. They did. They just photocopy it and just transfer it over. But many people were approached because, of course, I, I everything I do, I have to teach, you know. So a lot of people were ringing me then. Oh, they chopped the all rights reserved off on my license. I said, well, someone's committed a fraud, haven't they? What? Well, they've committed a fraud. That's not your signature. Your signature had the all rights reserved as part of it. So any public document you need to sign where you're uh, wishing to... Uh, take on board some benefits or privileges that you don't want because you want to protect your rights. So all my public signatures are the same, all rights reserved. Anyway, I said, you ring them back and ask who did it because you want their name because you want to start a, an action against them for committing fraud. And what they say is, oh, 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 oh no, no, no. Uh, just come in here and, and we'll, we'll do it again for you. And that's, that's called holding your position. I teach that very, we emphasize that heavily on our website, how to hold your position in any matter, because it's not just doing the process. If you don't know how to respond to sometimes flack that comes back at you, you lose. So we teach people how to hold, I can give you a hundred examples, a thousand examples, but not just from me, from people who are coming to me as young as 21 saying, oh, we crossed the border because there's police there. You know, you can't cross the border without a pass because Australia is a testing ground for the world, Australia and New Zealand. And they say, oh, I had the police there for an hour at my side, and um, but they let me through in the end. And when I asked the senior sergeant who came to me in the end, I went through the same thing. But I said, oh, have you got your business card there? It's part of your uniform. And uh, do you have your indemnity insurance number? And he said, what? What do you want? For, I do have, but what do you want that for? And he said, well, if you break the law, then I'm going to have to put a complaint against you. And uh, you might not be in, in work next next week when they pull the indemnity insurance. He turned around and walked away and they let him go. We have people all over earth following the process and getting the result.